so, so, oh, okay. so, so, so can God rape a baby? Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Can God, think, hold on. Keep in mind that God will not do anything. He will not lie because he can't lie. He can lie, but he can't lie because he is God. He is perfect. What? He is perfect. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. That... I have one question for, for – actually, I have two questions for Jake. Um, one, you said that you don't believe that forgive, that death is necessary for forgiveness. Um, and then I have a second question, but I do want to say that I feel like that was an implication to say that you are forgiven because you died. That is not forgiveness. The reason why you died was because you separated yourself from God. You don't need, you can't be forgiven if you died. If you died, that means that you were cursed, um, for your sins because God wouldn't separate someone from himself if he loved them. Well, everyone even, dies though, right? Right, and that's because we all have committed a sin. We all well, have when we hurt. die. When we die, are we separate, necessarily separated from God? Okay, now you're getting somewhere. So basically, I believe that when you die, that when when you actually when your flesh passes, that God does forgive the spirit, just as you believe God forgives the spirit, and that God will be with you and the afterlife. However, the whole point of someone else dying in your place or the animal being the sacrifice for you is because you are not the one that is dying. Your curse has been given to the sacrifice. You are blessed to live rather than be stoned to death or struck by lightning or your heart stopped beating or just separated from God eternally. This is mm -hmm. a grace from God to take your sins and to put it on a, a, a blameless lamb. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, it makes a lot of sense to say, which that we question. should we should we should punish uh, an innocent person, whether it be a, a, a lamb or a human being, or in this case, let's just be honest, it's God Himself who's being punished. You want yeah. to punish an innocent person for the sins of all of the guilt? That's the gospel pitch. Yeah, the pitch is basically that you and I are sinners and that we are so evil in our hearts. We are so wicked that we cannot resist sins that even when God, the perfect one, came down on earth, that he that he was so perfect that we hated him and we killed him just like the other prophets who came and preached the truth. That's what Jesus says. So so the idea here is, is that you and I are evil, so evil that you can either kill God in a sacrifice, humbly accepting that you are a sinner and that he's taking it for you, or you can so kill you can God. So you can kill God? Evil. So wait, wait, wait. God, you, you believe that God, we can kill God. Are you referring to the spirit or are you referring to the flesh that he became? No, you. I'm just referring to your own statement. You said we yeah. can either kill God by the X or we can kill by God by something else. You're the yes, one that God, said we can kill God. That sounds God, like a good statement. Yes, God himself can quite literally choose to lay down his life, even though he can save himself, even though he can become a man, even though he can create dirt and rocks, even though he can create lifeless objects, he wow. is still a living God. So the stone that we are talking through right now, this piece of metal and plastic, this is not alive. But God has made it even though he is a living God. So God can also do anything. Remember when the when the Pharaoh didn't believe that God could do anything, that his gods were more powerful. But God showed them. He showed them regardless of what you believe. Yeah. I can do anything. So, yeah, I believe that God Wait, can he can do anything. More. So so you think and you, you actually said it before you made a statement, which I wanted to clarify. You said that anything that man could do. God could actually necessarily do to a greater degree. Is that your position still? No, no, I didn't say that was my position. I says I said in the gospel, Jesus Christ Himself, He said that whatever is impossible for mankind, God can do anything. He can certainly do it. Whatever is impossible for a man is possible for God. Just like how Moses yeah. couldn't split the ocean, but God. My split question, it. my question is, can God? Is again? it possible that? Is it possible? That God can do anything that man can do. God can do anything that man can do and more. He made man. He made okay. us in his image, okay. didn't he? Okay. okay. So, 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 oh, okay. So, so, so can God rape a baby? Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> so, so, oh, okay. so, so, so can God rape a baby? 
Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can God, I think, hold on, hold on. Can God, I think, hold on, hold on. I think, I think you're saying prophet, God. Wait, hold wait, on. hold on. Muhammad. Hold on. Can, wait, can hold God on, send wait, a prophet this, name? I, I think he's right. saying God can do that, but he wouldn't do that. I don't know if you agree with that or not. But I think he's saying like well, God I, I don't know what Jake was go- getting at. I thought Jake was going to say the punchline that, well, I can forgive people without a blood sacrifice and, you know, be that's good in my point. heart. <laughs> with, but that's so another I, point. I can't not do that. Let's get this straight for the audience. You are Wait, telling I, me you're telling me that God can rape a baby. It's It's so disgusting that they yeah. want to say that anything that man can do, so so God can commit a sin, uh, God can rape a baby for fun, um, God can do all of these disgusting things. God can yeah, no, die, that's for example. God can't this, lie. This, God, this is, God, God can God can lie according to Mister Lamb. Lie. Goes. It's just in the mm-hmm. Okay, so well, God cannot lie. lie. So God cannot lie. Hold on a God cannot lie. Hold on a second. God cannot lie, but but I can lie. Correct. Yeah, you're yeah. you're a mortal fallen yeah, person. Lie. So then I can do something you can see I can do something that God cannot do. Therefore, I've refuted your position. No. Do you believe let's let's make this very simple, sir. Do you believe that God can, I can lie? Question? I, I would like to ask you. Do you believe question that God first. can lie? Oh, no, answer, answer. No, it's a simple yes or no. Do you believe that God can lie? I waited for your question and I let you and I answered and you let me answer. And now, respectfully, I would like to ask you a question because now you're asking me two in return for one. And I, and I will answer you. No. Okay. I just want to know, yes, can God I lie? Believe that yeah, God, yes, I believe that God, I believe that God can do anything, but he doesn't do anything. I believe he can create disease and death on the face of the earth. I believe that he can cause Moses' hand to have leprosy and take it away. I believe that okay. God can take the life of Pharaoh. But so now what here's about- my question. No, no, you no, because no, you're directly, you you're directly, question, and I feel that you're directly, afraid, and you're sir, running. You, you're, you're not sir, allowing me to ask my question. Well, that's exactly what's happening here, because you made a blasphemous statement, and now you're saying that God can lie, but your own scripture says that God cannot lie. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18 says what? That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. Mm-hmm. He says that it's but impossible for God to lie again in Titus chapter one, verse two, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie. Mm-hmm. And I can show you in the Old Testament as well. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. God mm-hmm. cannot lie both in the Old Testament. So you have been refuted, sir. Well, so basically, this is not in English that it's being spoken. And also, we have general understanding in our hearts as well, which is why we often use multiple statements for the same sentence. You said in one statement, should, and you said in the other statement, cannot or couldn't. Keep in mind, this no, is not in English. Yes, you did. And you can rewind mm-hmm. for those viewers who want to who want to do that. Um, you can okay, actually you will. see. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I have no quarrels with it. Um, you can see clearly that God, Jesus said, can do anything, even if it's impossible for man. He can do it. But then also keep in mind that God will not do anything. He will not lie because he can't lie. He can lie, but he can't lie because he is God. He is perfect. What? He is perfect. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. So you just said he can't. You not. just said he can lie, but he cannot lie. Hold on, can I say I, you're just contradicting say, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Man. Okay, let's I, go to Brad. Let's go to Brad. What I, I, I think, I think I see a difference in like Christian ideology versus Islam. So he's saying God is capable of doing these things, but because God is good, He would choose not to do these things. Amen. Yeah, but that's not that's not what the Bible says. What the verse says, though. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know that. But, Mm-hmm. Hebrews six eighteen. You want me to read it again? Yeah, read it you again. You can read it again. But may I ask my question? Uh, read it again. Okay. Please. Yeah, yeah. So just let me it ask literally it says. It literally says. One second. Hey, don't unmute yourself, otherwise you're, I'm gonna kick you, guy. That's it says, fine. So that so that by two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie. It says it's impossible for God to lie. It doesn't say that he's not to. It's impossible for him to lie. Yeah. 
So I had to kick him because he kept unmuting himself and interrupting you. So we'll have uh, more respectful guests uh, respond to that.